Um, each game is a series of matchup hunting. You know, you're trying to find the, uh, an advantageous matchup to attack, but they're also trying to hide that matchup from you. Where's the line between going after it and kind of stagnating, trying to chase that? W w what's the balance there? Uh, the balance is having proper spacing, uh, making the right play. Um, you know, I thought we did a good job of fighting for our spacing, uh, making the right two-on-one reads. Um, that's more important than anything else. And so uh, I think regardless of who we're trying to attack, making sure we're at the proper spacing and making sure we're making the right play uh, based on where the two-on-one read is is the most important thing. Fifth row on your right. Fernando Tirado from ESPN Deportes. Joe, how would you, would you describe your relationship with Pep Guardiola and did you receive any kind of advice before the finals from him? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, he's a great person. Uh, he's a great coach. Uh, just hum humility, joy, work ethic, intensity that he brings. And, um, you know, we've grown to have a great relationship, so I'm very grateful for him. And, uh, you know, I'd like to think that we make each other better. So uh, it's great that he was here. It's great that he was able to share some of his wisdom and um, got to spend time with him. Standing in the back right. Hey, Joe, Esteban Bucios uh, here on your right, GBH News. Uh, you were able to get some of the stay ready guys in towards the end of game one. One guy in particular, uh, Svi Mikhailuk. I'm wondering what has he done uh, just to help this team get to this point when we're not necessarily seeing him and some of those other guys a lot in the postseason? Yeah, I mean, when I talked to Svi about, uh, you know, during the process of him deciding if he wanted to come here, I just said, listen, like, the thing about our team is, is we need everybody and we're going to play guys. And you don't get. Uh, to where we're at right now and uh, win a lot of games unless you have uh, great depth. And throughout the season, because it's such a long season, what those guys do and uh, kind of gets lost in the shuffle. But there was moments where, you know, Sfi helped win his game. Second night of back-to-back, -back, four and five, set whatever it is, like uh, Nimi and those guys starting. So their ability to uh, just stay locked in and stay professional and, and impact winning uh, is very important. And so that was what I told him when he came, uh, before he came here. And uh, him, uh, the other guys, and the player development staff do a great job of just, you know, staying on top of that. Gary in the middle. Cheryl Gary, Washington, Boston Globe. Jason Kidd just called Jalen uh, you guys' best player. He said it twice. Now, that could be a slight at Jason, but how do you want your guys to read these quotes? I mean, they read everything. They're going to there's a lot said in, in between games. How do you want them to kind of digest when there might be gamesmanship here, or there might be some type of – that was said for a purpose, obviously. But how do you want them to kind of take that in? Uh, you just need to focus on the truth. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, nobody knows because they're not in the locker room. Uh, and so I think as long as we focus on the truth, we focus on the things that we talk about every day, we focus on the relationships that we build with each other, uh, we focus on um, just that stuff. So. Uh, they can look at it however they want. At the end of the day, uh, what goes on in our locker room, uh, how we communicate with each other, how we build relationships with each other, how we treat each other on and off the floor, that's the most important thing. Vince, in the back left. Hey, Joe. Uh, Vince Gilwell, Yahoo Sports. For the first time since 1975, this is the NBA Finals where you have two black head coaches. Uh, given the plight sometimes of black head coaches in the NBA, do you think this is a significant moment? Do you take pride in this? How do you view this or do you not see it at all? I wonder how many of those have been Christian coaches. David Aldridge on the right. The microphone's on the right. Hey, Joe, you mentioned spacing a couple minutes ago, and I just wonder how that process over the last several years has kind of evolved to where you got your, your vets just because they know the game, they feel the game, they just kind of know where to go on the floor and how to keep the floor properly spaced and how to always make themselves available in, you know, for whatever purpose that they have when they get the ball. Yeah. I mean, spacing is uh, like age as old as time. Like it's the most important thing. And I think you've seen different spacings based on how the game has changed, how the game has evolved, how your roster evolves, how uh, I think the, the better offenses have gotten, the more creative defenses have gotten. And uh, the ability to put guys in certain spots, uh, protecting the rim, where are your best individual defenders. So being malleable in your spacing, I think, is the most important thing because you have an understanding of who's where. You have an understanding of where the advantages are. And so it's one of those things that you have to fight for. It's like a simple detail that if you don't talk about a lot, it can get overlooked. Uh, but your spacing can manipulate uh, the type of shots that you get and, and the, the decisions that you make. And I think that's 
the fight. Like, you know, D um, Dallas' defense, they're one of the smartest, best defensive teams in the league, and they have the ability to manipulate your spacing uh, with their rotations and with their personnel. And so we got to be just as creative and uh, just as disciplined in, in our spacing to make sure that we can counteract that. Same row on the left here? That, that's kind of what Pep has helped me with, spacing. You know, it's very important, transitions, how you move those guys. Yeah. On the left side here? Uh, Joe Zach Cox, Boston Herald. Gerard Mayo said last week that you've been a great resource for him as he adjusts to becoming a head coach. i uh, just curious how you'd, you'd describe your relationship with Gerard and with the other head coaches in Boston. Yeah, I mean, I think as you get into this, you start to realize that uh, once you're in the position, nobody can really relate to you except other people in that position. And so you grow a bond with, with uh, other coaches uh, because you know what they're going through and you know what the, the challenges, you know what the opportunities are, you know... Uh, the situation that you're in. And so I think it's really important that we all stick together. Me, him, Coach Montgomery, uh, Alex, like you just have to stick together and, and help each other through it because each of our four coaches have been through different experiences, whether it's inside Boston or outside Boston. So uh, we kind of got, Jared and I, Gerard and I got close as assistants, you know, just kind of how would you do things when it's your opportunity? What have you learned from the head coaches that you worked for? And now that we're in this position, uh, it's just kind of like helping each other with the transition and, and then just the different experiences. So. Last one, third row in the center. Uh, Daniel Donabedi in Clutch Points. Joe, what can you say about Sam Hauser, only seven points uh, in the Eastern Conference Finals? Then last night, or game one, he got eight points, even had some stops on Luka. What can you say about just him keeping his confidence through those struggles? Yeah, listen, the most important thing for guys like uh, Sam and Peyton is having an understanding that we wouldn't be here without those guys. They've literally won games for us, and you're not defined by scoring. And I think that's one of the strengths of this team, uh, top to bottom. Um, whether it's the starters, whether it's the role guys, not one guy uh, strives to be uh, defined by one thing. So uh, getting two stops on defense, being in the right spot, getting two rebounds, getting to the free throw line, sprinting to manipulate the spacing to get an open shot, all those things count for the same, especially at this time of year. Uh, Sam's done a great job in his career of not being just defined as a shooter, of being able to do other things. And I think our entire team has taken that on, and, and we have to work to stay to be that well-rounded on both ends of the floor. Thank you, Coach. Yep. Jalen Brown will be in next.